Hello engineers, you are once again welcome to Crest Control Automation. Yeah, today we are going to look at how to test for continuity, okay, on three-phase motor windings. How to test for continuity between three-phase motor windings, all right? And also understand the various markings on the terminal block, all right? The markings on the terminal block, okay? So let's get started. So engineers, this is our motor terminal block, all right? Three-phase motor terminal block, all right? So on this terminal block, we have th uh, six terminals. We have six terminals, okay? Yeah. So let's see here, okay? Let's see why we have the six terminals. So these are the windings, okay, inside of this motor, okay? So we have winding one, winding two, winding three. Winding one consists of two terminals. This one terminal... And, a, and then another terminal. One D two consists of this terminal and this. The one D three consists of here and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is why we are having the six terminals here. Okay. Each one then consists of two terminals. All right. Okay. So now we are coming to identify the windings. Okay. We are coming to test for continuity to know the windings. The windings continuity. Okay. So now let's see here. This first winding. We have U1 and U2, okay? So when we use the instrument to test, if there is no break, you should get a reading between U1 and U2. The same applies to all of this, okay? So we test for U1 and U2, and then V1 and V2, W1, W2, all right? Okay, so now let's use the instrument to test. Okay, so now on this motor terminal block, all right? Yeah. This um, terminal is my U1. This is the U1, all right? So now the instrument is set, okay? It's set at ohms. Ohms, all right? Uh, ohms, okay, continuity, all right, okay? So I come to test for it. So this is my U1. And then we are looking for um, U2, U1, and then U2, okay? So I'll put one lead here, and then I'll start from the top here. Okay, no reading. Wow, there's a reading here, okay? Let's check this one. Let's check this one. Let's check this. So, there's a reading here. It means that this is winding one, okay? So, winding one is, is um, U1 and then U2, all right? U1 and then U2, isn't it? So, it means that if this is my U1, it means this is the U2. U1, U2, all right? Okay, now left with winding two. Okay, we are coming to test for V1 and then V2. If there is no break, you should get a reading here. Okay, so V1 and V2. And now this is my V1. This is my V1. So let's search for the V2. So I'll put the one lead here. I'll start. No reading. No reading. Wow, oh, there is reading here. Let's check this. No reading. No reading, but there is a reading here. So it means that this is my V2, okay? V1, V2. So this is winding two, all right? Okay. Now left foot, um, W1 and W2. That is winding three. W1, W2, okay? So this is my W1, all right? This is my W1. Let's put them meter here and start. There is a reading here, okay? There is a reading here. No reading, no reading, no reading, no reading. But there's a reading here. So automatically, this is my W2. W2, okay? W1, W2. So now, engineers, we have been able to identify the, the windings continuity. Okay? The windings continuity. All right? The reason why we got reading is that there is no break, okay, on these windings. So if the motor were bent, okay, Definitely, we will not get reading in some of the windings, okay? But because now we are getting reading, okay, between all the windings, all right? Between all the windings, it means that the motor is not bent, okay? So when you are, maybe you are in, at the workplace and um, there is a report that motor is bent, the motor is not working, all right? You have to test for the continuity of the windings, all right? So now we are done with the 
between the windings, okay? We are down between the windings, all right? Okay, so now we are coming to test for um, a continuity between the windings and then the X, the body of the motor, okay? So now, this is the body, let's see, okay? Assuming this is the, this is the motor body, all right? This is the body, okay? So now we are coming to test between the windings and the body. If the motor is bent, if the motor is bent, we have to get a reading between the winding and the body. Definitely, it will make con uh, contact with the body. Only if the motor is bent. But if the motor is not bent, you should not get reading between any of these windings and then the body. All right? So we are coming to test for that and see. Okay. So this is the body, this boat, all right? Either here or here, okay? Where you get a physical contact, a plain contact, okay? Not the painted. This side is paint, okay? This side, there's a paint here. No, here too, there's a paint. You have to get a bare, okay, a bare surface, all right? So this is the head, the body. So I come to test between any of the windings, okay? So, okay. There is no reading. It means that the motor is not bent, all right? The motor is not bent, okay? All right. So now we are left with the markings, all right? The relation between these markings, okay? When you open some motor terminal blocks, all right, you will see um, these markings there. So you see, you either see U1, okay? U1 and U2, all right? V1 and V2, W1, W2, all right? These, okay, markings are commonly used by the North American um, countries, all right? Yeah, they're not American. Okay. Yeah. So NIMA, NIMA, N E M A, that is National Electrical Manufacturers Association. All right. They specifies these markings. All right. U1, U2, V1, V2, W1, W2. And then when you open some motor terminal blocks, you, okay, you also see U and X, U, X, V, Y, W, and Z. Okay. U, X, V, Y, W, and Z. These markings are commonly used by the European countries. Okay? The European countries. So, IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, they also specify these values. All right? U, X, okay? V, Y, W, and then Z. All right? And sometimes when the motor um, are being sent for winding, Sometimes they also use this, um, this Roman numerals, all right? This Roman numerals. So we have I and then IV. That is one and four. They are for this, this winding, all right? We have I and V. Sorry, I and IV. That is one and four, okay? And then I, I and V. That is two and five. Okay, we also have I, 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 and then V, I. That is three and then six. Three and six. Okay, some when the motors are being sent for the um when the motors are being sent for rewinding, sometimes they also um use this markings on it. Okay, yeah. So any other way you find on motor terminal blocks, you should be able to identify the corresponding winding terminals. All right, yeah. So, engineers, this is a simple um, continuity test we did on our three-phase motor to see the corresponding windings, okay? I would advise that when you are doing the etching, between the etching, okay, make sure you use um, um, high resistance, okay, uh, multimeter, okay? Yeah, though this multimeter is also accepted, all right? But make sure, if you are not sure, make sure you use either insulation resistance test, okay? Yeah. To do that okay so in my next videos you'll be talking about that all right yeah so please if you are new to this um channel okay this is your first time of watching this channel please i will urge you that you subscribe to this channel okay and then you hit the bell icon and then you like the video you put down your comments and then you share the video to your friends all right so let's meet in another video thank you